welcome back to Good Morning KU. I'm Al Moore. And I'm Becky Phelps. So, Becky, I'm so glad we're matching today yes, with uh, non shoulders. Non you know? shoulders. It's just my kind of day. <laughs> That's funny how that works. It's not out. planned. Yeah, no. I didn't think it was like national, you know, no shoulder, no clothes on your shoulders day, but it is so. May Day. It is May Day. So yeah, happy exciting. May. <laughs> yes. It's May 1st. I know, but I think we still have the April showers going on. It so. is. It's been so rainy for like five days it's been ridiculous yeah and i don't think mother nature knows that it's now may we need to stop the rain send here send a letter like <laughs> please can we have yes. some sunshine now <laughs> exactly did you stay here in kansas and lawrence in um this weekend i did not actually i went down to wichita on friday oh just kind of randomly one of my friends wanted some pasta salad from wichita and so we drove all the way down there is wichita known for great pasta salad or I really have no idea yeah. yeah, she just, at lunch, she just goes, I don't want ease. I want pasta salad. Is from she from Wichita? She's from Derby, which is kind of close to Wichita. Okay. So we drove to her house, too. Saw her dogs. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was a good time. <laughs> well, that sounds fun. Yeah. Did oh. you stay in Lawrence? No, I actually went back home to Minnesota. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, I, it was a little bit too warm here, so I needed to go up north. <laughs> yeah, um, makes sense. Yeah, yeah but... We, I just decided to go back home to see my family because my sister actually recently got engaged. I have a picture with her. Um, we were at a restaurant together this weekend just celebrating that. Um, so that's super exciting and I'm really happy for her. And Did then, you drive all the way to Minnesota? Yeah. So it's like wow. an eight hour drive. Yeah. It's not that bad because, you know, you're from Iowa. Yeah. So Ames is kind of in the middle is the halfway point. Yeah. It's about six, seven hours for me. Yeah. yeah. And well, I have a bunch of high school friends um, that go to Iowa State. So I stopped there and ate oh, dinner with them okay. and hung out. So it wasn't, you know, as long as it seems. That's but, fun. Yeah. I got home kind of late, so I was really tired. Um, but yeah, it was a super fun weekend with my parents and my sister, and we just had fun. You know, was I'm, it raining in Minnesota? It was actually pretty cold. Um, it <laughs> rained a little bit. Um, I think we were, we were supposed to get snow Sunday when I left, but I, mm. I don't think we got any. But I heard That's Denver good. got some, and then like Gardner, Kansas, or um, Gardner City, Kansas, or something. It's I saw me. that on ABC News. We should be yeah. down with snow. It's nuts. Mother Nature needs Mother to nature. <laughs> come on. <Yeah. laughs> Pull it together. <laughs> yeah, so that's, so just leaving the weather behind us, mm -hmm. it is also finals week coming up next week. So yeah. Hopefully we might get some sunshine oh, yeah, with it that. <laughs> oh man, I'm not expecting anything great. <laughs> <laughs> this is, you're a freshman, right? I am so a freshman, yeah. How did your finals go last semester? Not so bad. I didn't have a whole lot of tests, and I actually don't have any tests this finals. I only have projects. Projects. So that's that's a plus. That's a plus side for me. I like projects more than I like tests. Like what kind of projects? Like um, building birdhouses or like can you like go no, into detail? Like I have I have a couple papers too, but one of my I have a poetry project where I have to pull together like a bunch of poems that we learned about over the year and connect them to some arts. So I have to make I'm gonna make a booklet like connecting uh, photography with poems. Oh. So it's, it's that kind of project, and we're bringing it into class and sharing it all together instead of having a test. So like a little bit of scrapbooking with yeah. like a flair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Professional that, scrapbooking. That's cool. That's my college that's really experience. Cool. Yeah. 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 How, how are your finals looking? Um, I just have basically some presentations with groups. Um, so I'm doing a lot of group projects, I guess you would say, this uh, yeah. semester for my finals, which, I mean, it's better than a test in my opinion, but yeah. then you kind of, you know, love and hate group projects. So because everyone has to pull their own weight and communicate That's and true. finding a time out of class. It's that would be really stressful as a final to yeah. like have a group project. But I mean, once it's over with, it's done. So that That's feels, true. that's better. When's but your last final? I think it's actually on the Friday, the oh. 12th, so I'll be staying here. That's rough. Yeah, what about you? Well, mine, mine's on Thursday, but I'm staying till Friday. Yeah, you're not get, wanting get to take them early Friday and get morning. out of here. Gotta get out. Yeah. yeah. And so stop day is actually this Friday. So I know mm -hmm. a lot of other schools, they have like dead week where they have just like no classes and they get a study or, you know, Wouldn't go out nice? <laughs> with a whole week. Yeah, but we yeah. have a stop day. Would you like want to have a dead week, do you think? I think for studying it would be nice, but I feel like a lot of people might just kind of like lose their momentum. Yeah. Like they just might sleep for four days, which would be awesome. But <laughs> We I all need this. to catch up on our sleep, so that it's would so that'd be good. That would be nice, yeah. I, I would probably like a dead week. I don't know, just to get something done other than stress. Yeah, but what if you just had, you know, projects, you know, not really like he big heavy-duty tests. I feel like well, a stop week or a dead week would just, you know, 
everyone would go out and not study, if you know? If you had a procrastination, you could use that to do your projects. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right before. That is true. Yeah. But I kind of like our stop day, and it's on Cinco de Mayo. That's true. So that's a big celebration. Yeah, I forgot all about that. That's, <laughs> yeah. That's going to be a fun day for a lot of people. <laughs> yes, it will be. Yeah. Um, so also, so this is our last Good Morning KU show yes, yes, for of us. this semester. Last so Monday. that is very sad. So that a is. lot has, has happened this semester and this past year at KU. Mm -hmm. Do you, how was your year? My year, it's my freshman year. My year is pretty great. Um, I'm going to miss the dorms a lot, actually. Surprisingly, I'm going to miss the dorms a lot. What about you? Um, you know, I lived off campus, so mm -hmm. I didn't have the dorm life, but you know, I had a ton of good classes this semester and this past year, and I got to meet like a lot of great people, and you know, especially with this Good Morning KU crew, so yeah. it's been such a blast. Um, but it's sad, you know, but exciting at the same time to go into a new semester. That's true, I'm excited. Yeah. We will be back right after this with a guest. Thank you. Where you go to college makes a statement about you. This place will become a part of you, your identity for life. The University of Kansas, a great place to be you. Welcome back. I'm Mason Moan, and I'm here with Mitch Simmons, the race director for the Tom Strong 5K. Thanks for joining us, Mitch. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. So tell us, what exactly is the Tom Strong 5K? So the Tom Strong 5K is a race on campus that we founded for one of my pledge brothers, fraternity brother, who was paralyzed over his freshman winter break. And we, we thought about how can we get Tom back to KU. It was originally an idea to get him back to KU. Mm -hmm. And as it got more realistic for him to come back to KU, and as we got closer to the race, he decided he didn't want this to be for him. He actually wanted it to be for other students at KU going through the same thing that he's going through. So we started this race, and it ended up turning into a, kind of a KU community event where everyone got together and created a scholarship called the Tom Babb Student Accessibility Scholarship. And the scholarship is for uh, students kind of struggling with mobility on campus or anything, and it provides money for full-time care or anything that they would need. That's awesome. So what exactly do you do for the Tom Strong 5K? So I was the race director this year, um, and that really just means that I gather together a bunch of people in the KU community. A lot of uh, moms within the house came around to help me out, and uh, some of my pledge brothers helped me out to uh, just get everything organized for the race, whether it's talking to people of the community, people of uh, KU, getting everything aligned with like parking and transit and uh, food, uh, like KU food and dining, and uh, just making sure that everything runs smoothly on the day of the event. Sounds like a lot of work. So It was. <laughs> it was just recently, right? When exactly was it? It was. It was on uh, Sunday, April 23rd. Sunday, April 23rd. And how did it go? It went really well. We had about 350, 400 runners that day. Awesome. Uh, we raised just over $25,000, and we uh, further funded the, uh, the uh, scholarship, and we're uh, eventually hoping to grow that scholarship and maybe be able to give it to two students per year. Well, that's awesome. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, no, I think you really got it all. All right. Well, we will be right back with Bryce and the news. Three, two, one, and camera two. All right, guys, welcome back. Welcome to Media Crossroads. Located on the second floor of Anschutz Library sits an immersive learning experience like no other. So what is Media Crossroads? A chance to try something new. The opportunity to step in and learn going behind the scenes, or maybe giving it a shot in front of the camera. Good evening, guys, and welcome into Playmaker Central. I'm Lydia Taylor. Under the direction of instructor Cal Butcher, Media Crossroads Four. provides students with the chance to learn by doing. Yeah, you're gonna start here just so, see that you're so what is Media Crossroads? Well, stop by. Come see for yourself. <laughs> Thank you. 
Welcome back to Good Morning KU. I'm Bryce Horowitz, and these are your morning headlines. Congressional leaders announced a bipartisan plan to fund the government last night. The move increases funding for border security, the military, and the National Institute of Health. It does not fund a border wall. President Trump may face criticism after meeting Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte. Duterte is known for his strict crackdown on drugs in the Philippines. His efforts have left thousands dead. The Kansas legislature reconvenes today after their spring break. The legislature must find a way to close the budget gap. Kansas is currently projected to have an $889 million budget shortfall in June. Former Senator Elizabeth Dole came to Lawrence yesterday. The senator spoke at the Dole Institute of Politics in the first ever woman in leadership lecture. Dole shared stories from her time in the office and discussed the importance of bipartisanship. If you're looking forward to find a hotel in Lawrence this summer, you might be out of luck. Lawrence hosts the 2017 Junior Olympics and every hotel in the city is fully booked, the crowd spilling over to Kansas City and Topeka. The event expects to draw over 40,000 people. Explorer Lawrence's director, Michael Davidson, says it's the biggest event Lawrence has hosted. Davidson says the event provides a regional opportunity for national recognition. Stick around when we come back. Brittany Foster will have today's forecast. Where you go to college makes a statement about you. This place will become a part of you, your identity for life. The University of Kansas, a great place to be you. Happy Monday morning, everyone. We are coming out a very wet weekend, very wet and cold, to say the least. Although it looks like that trend is going to continue into this awesome May Day Monday. We are going to go out live right now with Courtney, who's outside of Anschutz. So, Courtney, we might have the possibility of some blue skies outside. What do you think of that? I think that would be great right now. Right now, it's pretty windy. I see students with a lot of jackets. They have their rain jackets, their, umbrella, their umbrellas. It's not rainy right now, but all we see is gray skies. Yeah, gray skies right now, but later on today that blue sky is going to peak out maybe a little bit, and Tuesday it's supposed to be pretty nice too. So you have a jacket on. Do you feel pretty comfortable with that jacket? I am still cold with my North Face <laughs> jacket on. I feel like I should have brought my winter coat out even though it's May. Yeah, that might but... have been a good idea. Yeah, definitely. Well, thank you so much for the update. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Talk to you later. <laughs> See ya. Okay, so going on to your weather headlines for this week, we are going to have a chilly start, although it is going to warm up finally. We've had some weird temperatures going on at the end of April. We had some 80s beginning of it, but we're going to warm up again. Blue skies are going to return finally. No more rain, at least a little bit of rain. Um, not too long, though. Warm up in the temperatures as well. So it's going to be a pretty nice week overall. Right now we're sitting at a chilly temperature of 42 degrees. Like Courtney said, you're going to have that jacket on with you because it is very cold this morning. Wind chill makes it feel like it's in the low 30s. Very cold. So definitely have that jacket with you. Mostly cloudy skies now with a few drizzles up until noon. That should clear away though to lead us to a nice temperature of 60 degrees. Pretty chilly, but light, not like warmer than what we had last week a couple of times. And those sunny skies will come through, although it is going to be very windy. So take note of that if you're heading out the door just throughout the day. Hold on, maybe have that coat with you because it might be a little bit colder than 60 degrees because of that wind. Here's your hourly forecast. We're going to warm up pretty fast. By 5 o'clock, we're going to hit those highs in the 60s. And then those clear skies will move through about at 5 to 7. And around that time, we should see some breaks in the clouds to give us some blue skies through the day. Here's your five-day forecast. Like I said, Monday, showers to start off the day. Tuesday is probably going to be one of the nicest days of the week, clear skies. Wednesday is when that chance of rain moves through again. We're going to have that probably in the morning, maybe throughout the rest of the day, but mainly in the morning on Wednesday. And that sucks kind of because we have the Sporting KC game and Royals all throughout the week. Then Thursday, pretty nice day. And going into your Friday, it looks like it's going to be pretty nice as well. For your weekend forecast, we're going to have temperatures in the 70s finally. We had a very cold weekend this past week. We're going to have nice temperatures in the 70s, clear skies as well, and perfect way for those Royals games that are going to be at the end of this week. Thanks for tuning in. Good morning, KU. We'll be back with the host. <laughs>
Welcome back. So, Al, how was your year so far? Well, my yeah. year, you know, we briefly talked about it in our last yeah. hosting, um, but it's my almost year. over. Yeah, I know. It's been bittersweet. Yeah. Um, but some good things. I actually have some pictures that I thought were like highlights of my year that I like got to experience. Um, so, one of them would be like KU basketball. That's always oh, a highlight yeah. every year. Yeah. Um, but that was at in Kansas City during, you know, the Elite Eight in the basketball tournament when they got that far. Um, we were all the way up in the nosebleeds oh, there. Wow. <laughs> so, but that was a super fun time to see them play you know especially in the sprint center um, that was super cool That's and awesome. then you know since you know we're not having the best weather here you mm -hmm. know last like a few weeks ago maybe in late March early April there's like a bunch of tulips out here and I always love when KU does that um, so there's actually another picture that was on their University of Kansas Instagram account and I absolutely love that. That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love the tulips. I love that the fountain's back up and running. Yeah. That's one of my favorite parts on campus. I know. It looks so beautiful and pretty, yeah. like summer almost, but yeah. yeah, now we don't know what's going on with the weather. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> so tulips are gone. <laughs> how was your year in review, basically? Pretty good, actually. I really enjoyed my freshman year. I had a lot of fun classes. Made a lot of new friends. So. Yeah, that's good. Looking forward to next year. Yeah, and there's definitely going to be a different, you know, vibe here. There's like because we're getting, you know, a new chancellor, new student leaders. That's true, yeah. And basically a new basketball team. Yeah, it's going to be pretty, pretty different next year. Yeah. But I'm but excited to see how it, how it goes. Yeah, I am too. And I mean, just everything's going to be different. But it's always, you know as you grow up you know it's better years are ahead especially here at KU yeah. so I'm glad that you had an awesome freshman year yeah. would you want to change anything about your freshman year do you think I don't think so um I really I really enjoyed how it played out yeah would you want to change anything about your year um you know yes and no I actually I had to withdraw from a class <laughs> um, oh, no. this year so that was a little bit of a rocky mountain there um, and I actually didn't tell my parents because I thought I could really? do the adult decision um, do, they know, so, do they know now? Yeah, they do know okay. now, but a tip to not withdraw from classes. Um, so since it's our last Good Morning KU show, we wanted to invite the whole crew on to say goodbye. So come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> Everybody going to come yeah. out? Come on and say goodbye. Our very last show. So catch us around next August in the fall for we'll Good back. Morning KU. Yeah, we'll be back. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>